We are a people chosen to partake in the end times. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me. You know, we are living in times where even non-believers know, like, this is it. This is the end. We are, like, drawing close to something. Even people who did not care about, uh, about God, you know, at this time, they are, they're asking questions. They're wondering. You know, there is a, there is, there is a curiosity, like people, people are woke. Not everyone is, is, is awake to everything that's happening. Some people would rather just close their eyes and just hope that all this blows away. And there's so many people who are praying for everything to go back to the way things used to be, but it is not so. Okay. So in this in these last days we cannot afford to be messing with sin. We cannot afford to be messing with sin. The Bible says in the last days your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams. People are dreaming dreams left, right, and center. Believe both believers and non believers are having dreams and visions from the Lord. Even people who did not know about the rapture know about the rapture now. And even skeptics are starting to believe. Okay? So this is not the time for us to be dipping and dabbing in sin. This is not time for us to be to be um to be one foot in and one foot out. It's not going to work. This is time for us to leave our lukewarmness behind and focus on the Lord. These are the last days. This is it. This is it. And we are that generation that was chosen. And the Lord knows that we can make it. The Lord knows that we can make it. We have it in us to be able to stand. The same way as the generations that had to face World War One, Two, and Three, like they 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 were they were born for such a time for such a time as that. So even us, we are more resilient than we think. We are more stronger than we think we just have to co connect more to god our source our our maker okay and the lord will strengthen us from within hallelujah so god's wrath and judgment has come it has come and it has come in such a time when even the enemy but the enemy is always is always unleashed um, just a, a, a punishment or sufferings on the humankind. Don't forget that when the enemy looks at us, all he sees is the image of God. And that's why the enemy hates people. Anyone that thinks the devil loves people is deceived. We remind him of everything that God is. Because we are made in God's image. But now someone may ask, why are we experiencing such a wrath? What is it that we did that's so great? That it's our generation that has to bear all of this. Um, looking at past generations and our generation, we can all agree that what is happening is far worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. It is far worse. But it is not just us that have been able to evoke such a judgment and a wrath from the Lord. No. These are past sins from generations past. Yes. The, this God's judgment and wrath, it stems all the way back from generations past. It's just that the part was almost fell. It was almost full. And then we, we, this generation, we decided to add on to it more abominations. And now the part is just overflowing. And now the wrath of the Lord has come. That part full of sin has been poured back into the earth. And we see it in natural disasters now we're seeing it in um in just uh, lawlessness okay diseases and and we also need to understand that everything is not without god's protection no matter what happens the lord will always watch over his own the lord will always watch over his own but the lord has to punish when, when it's time for God's wrath, it's time for God's wrath. It will happen. Hallelujah. So now, 
this 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 judgment and this wrath has already begun but the thing is it is in its infancy stage this is only the beginning we haven't seen anything yet many many lives will be lost many many lives will be lost so is the lord killing people no people will be dying from different things whether it be famine whether it be the whether it be war whether it be sickness or disease whether it be crime whether it be violence whether it be natural disasters and let's let's also remember that the enemy is always active too the enemy is always uh, working on something too it's, the enemy is always cooking something in in uh in my dream where in the in the video i titled the children were raptured first the lord told me that they will withhold water from the people the lord did not say that the water will run out the lord did not say that the drought will cause the the water in the earth to finish the lord said they will withhold water from the people so as much as it's god's, god's wrath and judgment you never really know what is the Lord's work and which is the enemy's doing. At this moment, it's just all mixed up, okay? And someone might say, oh, woe to us, woe to this generation that we must pay for the sins of the, of the past generations. It's just not fair. You know, where is the justice of God in this? But this is a, there is another side to this coin. Past generations have, pray, have prayed for the harvest of souls and for the great wealth transfer. And guess what? It is us who will get to partake of that, who will get to benefit from that. Yes, it is us. It's our generation that will see the salvation of many souls, the harvest of many souls. It is us that will see the great wealth transfer. So as much as we are facing God's judgment and wrath, from previous generations we are also enjoying and reaping the answered prayers of the saints from old we get to reap that okay and at this moment it has already began the same way as the, the god's judgment and wrath has already began i assure you i assure you they the, the, they are running parallel the the judgment and the that is the judgment and the blessing. They are all running parallel, depending on which side of the coin you will find yourself. Um, as God's judgment and God's wrath is running, um, the salvation of souls and the great wealth transfer is also happening. It is not, it is in its infancy. It is happening. Just because you do, you, you do not see it in your own life, it does not mean it has not happened okay your life is not the the guiding like you cannot use your 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 own life as the as the compass okay it is happening it is already happening just because it has not come yet to your life does not mean it has not happened but it's happened in such a way i could i could just call it like a drizzle just as much as the judgment has happened but not at a greater measure i assure you that parallel to that, the God's blessings, the harvest of souls, everything is just coming into place. Everything is coming into place. Amen. Whatever position, whatever blessing, whatever opportunity that the Lord has promised you, you can you can stand ready now because you know that at any moment, it it at any suddenly moment it will be given to you. At any, at any suddenly moment, the door will be open to you. At any suddenly moment, the opportunity will be will be awarded to you. Okay, so yes, God's will will be done, and His promises will be fulfilled. Um. So yes, as much as we see all that is happening, the natural disasters, there's uh, testimonies, um, that are happening. But because of the severity of the of what is happening, it seems as if um, God is not moving, but you also forget that this blessings that the Lord has promised is not for the it's not something for the vast majority and it's not 50% of the people. It is a remnant whom the Lord has kept for himself. And these are the people whom the Lord has entrusted with the mission, with the plans, with the blueprint to run with. So, um, yes, 
the 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 great harvest has began and yes the wealth transfer has began to pour and let us also change the way we pray we're not praying for the great wealth for wealth transfer to come it is here we must start claiming it by faith in jesus name let's just start claiming things let's just claiming let's let us start claiming the promises and the blessings of the lord right now for today for now hallelujah so yeah i just uh i just wanted to 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 give this word of encouragement to us as believers that it doesn't matter what is happening around the world it does not change what the lord has said what the lord has said will come to pass and i love the lord you know thank god for the holy spirit if everything was written in the bible nothing will nothing will move forward because the enemy will always be closing up but not everything has been written in the word because they, we have the holy spirit the bible is full of mysteries and it's the holy spirit that is able to reveal and to explain the mysteries it's one thing to discover a mystery it's another to understand it and both of those require us seeking the lord seeking the lord seek and you will find knock and the door will be open to you amen ask and you will receive so at this moment let us use this time to be gleaning more and more to the lord and let us remember to live a life of repentance to live a life of repentance um let us keep our robes clean let us keep our robes clean let us keep ourselves pure let us keep ourselves spotless um the lord is coming for a spotless bride again the lord is holy the lord is holy none is perfect no one is perfect that is why we live a life of repentance a life of repentance a life of deliberately sinning and coming out and asking for forgiveness deliberately sinning it is not a life of repentance whatever you struggle with you bring to the lord by prayer and you pray on it again and again and again up until you are finally loosed off of it we need to keep our hearts pure i have given different testimonies in different videos that i've released of my struggles and how i was able to overcome and one of which was persistent prayer there's people who say you must pray once god um god's god's ears work god hears you the first time um they'll say things like is the lord's hand works short and stuff like that but there is such a thing as persistence the woman with the issue of blood kept saying um son of david have mercy on me son of david have mercy on me and she prayed this and she said this out loud to the lord up until the lord had mercy on her and also the bible um gave her a, a story as an example of a widow who was oppressed by her oppressors and she kept on going to the judge and she did not give the judge peace up until the judge was like you know what just help this woman and just uh sort 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 her out and just help her and she was able to be relieved of her oppressors oppressing her now the judge did not just uh uh help her because he wanted to help her he just helped her just to get her out of just to get her out of his head so that's what we need to do learn to be knocking on the door of heavens learn to be knocking in his presence asking and asking and asking um that different situations you'll pray and the lord will answer some will require you to keep knocking and keep knocking and keep knocking and the lord wants to see are you going to now give up and turn away and as believers let us learn to have god as our only option there's no option b there's no if god does not answer i'll do this or if god does not answer i'll go there no god is our only option god is option a option b and option c all the way to option z we only look to god and if the lord has not yet answered we wait and we wait patiently we wait patiently hallelujah um so you we cannot um now get out of god's will because we're complaining about a thorn that's in the flesh no we go on we go on through with what the lord has told us despite what it is we have to bear each and every person has a cross to bear and we will bear the cross and we know that we will re we will be rewarded we will get a full reward from the lord hallelujah so let us stay encouraged and let us remember to encourage ourselves in the word let us fill our minds with the world let with the word let us fill our hearts with the word 
the more of the word we we the more of the word we embody the more of the word we we carry the more of the word we fill ourselves the more of the world leaves us hallelujah thank you guys god bless